Hello everybody, it's Bob Anderson, and this is uh, January 23rd, 2023. I, I put a video out earlier today that said, <laughs> have you seen this movie before? <clears throat> um, and it was discussing the overnight open trades that had happened in the mornings, in the morning for both oil and the ES and that kind of stuff. What I didn't realize is that that movie was going to continue. <laughs> because um, the video that I put out Saturday <clears throat> of the trades that happened on Friday um, is exactly a replication of what happened today. Today was the same thing. And so... Um, Unlike Friday, I dedicated some time for me to trade those. I took two trades in the ES and uh, nailed one for six points, nailed another one for five points. I did two contracts on each account. My total after commissions was $1,071 per account. Just two trades. Um, I also took three trades in the RTY um, the Russell, because I wanted to, uh, I want to start testing that thing out. Uh, two of them worked, one of them didn't. Uh, it's only a $5 per tick instrument. I ended up like 220 some dollars up. I took nothing in oil today. Um, <clears throat> and I'll show you why here in a minute. So what I wanted to do, because I think it's very important, is for me to talk about why I'm sitting here on Mondays, which are my busiest days of the week, and I am very far behind, and I look over at the charts and I go, oh boy, I need to take advantage of this. What is it I'm looking for? What is it that happened? What is it that caused two easy trades to set up for me to just make $1,000 an account in, in about... 20 minutes for the two trades total. I wasn't in them for two minutes. One I was in for one minute and one I was in for two and a half, three minutes. Um, anyways, um, I, 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 I got a couple comments that were sent to me today um, that I want to read. One of them I thought was very inquisitive. It was a quote, <clears throat> and it was it was regarding, you know, because I have a lot of people that ask me, well, why do you even do this? Why do you even spend time doing these videos? You know, you know, why do you tell us this? And I talk about how you know I I struggled to learn how to trade, and uh, I just thought this is one way for me to, you know, pay it forward. Well, this person sent me a quote today, and uh, it was perfect. It says, successful entrepreneurs are givers and not takers of positive energy. And I think, uh, I think that sums me up really well. I mean, I own my own businesses. I'm successful in my businesses. I'm somewhat successful in my trading. And this is my, one way for me to be a giver and not a taker in society. Um, another little comment. Somebody sent this to me today. <clears throat> Actually, I think they sent it last night. It says, after 33 failed evaluations, Friday, I passed eval number 34 for my first PA account. Why the change? Quote, Bob Anderson and a little perseverance. Many, many, many thanks, Bob. I know you say the continuation trade is a perfect for passing evals, and I agree. It is, however, I see no reason to fix what isn't broken, and I intend to use it for my PA also. <laughs> well, yeah, you definitely should use it for your PA. Um, if a trader has put enough screen time, nothing replaces screen time. If a trader has put in enough screen time, and believe me, I have, 
I would be embarrassed to say how many years I have been in at this. Then spotting good continuation trade opportunities isn't difficult. And that is true. Plus, if one doesn't work, the risk is, too, is small. Bob, you've been a life changer for me. Anyways, um, I'm going to show you life-changing trades today, folks. If you just learn how to do this with free indicators and free charts, you too can print $1,000 in 20 minutes. Uh, on, in my case, I use two contracts today. All right, here we go. Here is the ES. Okay, and see, and this is this is pretty clear to see why I was focused on the ES this morning. Here's the overnight open down here, and here's the high, and here's at least an hour, and we're just sitting in consolidation. Here's the open of the market, shoots down through the overnight open, back up. Uh, for those of you that pay attention to me talk about the overnight open, that reaction right there shouldn't be a shocker to you. <laughs> but <clears throat> anyways, I digress. We're looking, I've talked about this. I don't, I don't want to take continuation trades when we're sitting in consolidation. We're looking for the market to get out either north or south. Go somewhere. Go somewhere. Do something. Well, I was sitting here. And at 10, at 9.48, the market shot up through the open, through the high, and started making some movement and created a pivot high. Up here at 40, 12, 50. I'm like, huh. And then it rolled down, and then it rolled back up. But it at least rolled up to the high again, and then did a low, and then did a low, and I said, shit, and I dropped two buys in there. Now, how impactful was that trade? I'll tell you how impactful that trade was. I dropped two contracts in here at seven, at 4,775, and I had a tick of slip on one of those two contracts. That's That means there was a lot of energy right there. Then, now let's look at the high again. It's 40, 12, 50. Now, five points put, would put me at 40, 12, 75, which is just through the top. So what did I do? I grabbed my top and I moved it up another point. I mean, because I'm like, well, if it's going to break through, it's going to break through at least another point. Which is exactly why when it ran up, boom, I got six points. Right there. All in one minute. Um, <clears throat> so, then it rolls down for attempt number two. Doesn't happen. Then all of a sudden, get this. Look at that, right there. Right there, right there, my favorite thing. We had a reset below the red line. Remember our 21 SMA? We had a candle close below it, another one closed below it. We had a reset. Oh boy, time to start getting interested again. Up it goes. We had a high, lower high, lower high. Nope. Broke up, never touched our gold line. So we're still sitting here, still sitting here. Now all of a sudden we had a high, a lower high. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. This might be time for a long. Let's see what happens on the next candle. So right here, I would have a buy stop sitting up here at 17.50. Now I pull it down here. To 17, because this candle closed. And my new my new high is 16.75. So I'm at 17. 
Bam! There's my entry. 17. This is not rocket science. It's truly not rocket science. If I can figure it out, it's not rocket science. God dang, this stupid tripod is a pain in the butt. I've talked about that. Anyways. Bam! Right there. I'm in two more contracts. 4017 long. So my target is 4022. Bam! 4022. Two more points. I'm done. Those two trades, one at six points, which I had a tick slippage on one of the contracts, and then five points on the other one. It's a thousand and seventy-one dollars after commissions. That simple. Um, the second entry was at 1023, out at 1025. I can't even begin to tell you how many people messaged me today <laughs> saying, holy cow. It's like I they, like they did see this movie before. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it laid right out from exactly the stuff I talked about on, on, on Saturday from Friday's price action. Exactly the same thing. No difference. Anyways, and you saw the reaction on both entries. You saw the reaction. In, gone. That's what you're looking for. In, gone. Here's oil. Why did I not take any oil trades today? Well, now keep in mind, there was a potential. Oil was in consolidation. Here it all is in the morning, just consolidating, consolidating. Now it broke through this high up here. And it came back and hit this. Now, this could have been a long right here. But the problem was, this was at 10 o'clock. And that was when I was over here totally focused because this had already created this area up in here. So I was so focused on the ES, I never even saw the potential oil trade, which the oil trade actually did not work. Um, but if you had managed it, if you had taken it, You'd have been in at 45 and it ran up to 51. You could have had your stop below there, which would have been at 41. So you'd have lost four ticks. You know, and then look what happened. Whoa, slammed out. Now some overnight open trades happened in oil. A couple of them after. But, you know, again, I didn't trade oil. I was too busy looking at the equity markets because because they had created movement into a new a new area just like we talked about on Friday uh, let's go in here to the RTY <clears throat> all right this is the Russell same thing created a new high never got into the gold line here created a new high boom 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 here's your here's your little ticker it's just barely eclipsing eclipsing your gold line and then bear on long boom there you go 20 ticks, right there. Uh, rolled down underneath the red line, rolled up, crossed, came down, boom. I was too aggressive. I never should have taken that trade, but I did because I really didn't have penetration here. Took it long, worked my it worked my stop to my, to my lows, boom, got knocked out. Okay, fine. These are $5 a tick anyways. I mean, it's not a big deal. Rolled up, created a new pivot high back into my gold line, took my long, and I just let it ride all the way up for another 20 ticks. Boom, done. Moves kind of slow, but I mean, it works. And for $5, you're not stressing. You know, for $5 a tick, you're not stressing. Anyways, there's my, there's my, there are my trades for the day. Going into new territory. Pull back into your gold line. Nice, smooth, continuous pullbacks. Long. Come back through. Reset below your red line. Break up through. Come back to your gold line. Boom. Long again. I mean, it's... It, it, if I could make a if I could make a song <laughs> about it or an acronym that everybody could remember, then that's what I would do because that's exactly it. And that right there on just two contracts is a thousand seventy-five. Now remember, I trade 
I trade three PA accounts, so I made whatever 1,070 times three is off that. And then I made $200 on this RTY, <clears throat> 200, 220 bucks, something like that. Anyways, have you seen this movie before? That's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Keep your stops tight. Good luck. Bye.